everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and today we are going to tackle another space in my home for my second video in my purging series. Like I mentioned in the first one, I am on a mission to purge my entire house. The home that we live in has seven bedrooms and there's closets galore. We actually have eight people in our family, so there's so much stuff. My goal today is to purge our two front closets. They are like right when you come in our front door and these closets have gone out of control. I feel like we have just put this off to the point that we're literally like chucking shoes in there, we're piling stuff in. When you open the door, you hope stuff doesn't fall out. So it's my mission today to purge, organize, declutter, get it back into shape into where it's actually functional. So yay for purging. When it comes to spring cleaning, I think of purging. We need to get rid of all the stuff that we no longer need. So. I'm kind of dreading opening up these doors and starting this project. I'm trying to declutter once again during nap time, so we'll see how far I get. But with that being said, let's get into it. So here is another look at the terrible state of these front closets. I swear we have just let these go for like far too long and they're embarrassing and ridiculous at this point. But today we are going to change that because when we first were looking at this home, I loved the idea of these front closets and I know that they can be so functional and that we could really like have them organized and they could serve our family so well. But I have to start by getting rid of all of this clutter. So like I mentioned on my very first purging video in this series, I like to kind of take purging space by space. That way it's not overwhelming. So instead of pulling everything out of both closets at once, I'm just going to start with this one. This one holds mostly mine and my husband's belongings as well as just some miscellaneous items. So I'm going to go ahead and pull everything out and then start organizing. And hopefully by the end of this video, these closets look much better. I, I, I want it all. I'm one in a million now. Like one in a billion. I came from my ceiling. I got a feeling you call me million. So go ahead and bow down. Did I say that out loud? I'm wearing a crown. I'm tripping now because I shut the lights up. We are having a major yard sale come spring, so I'm keeping that in mind today as I'm going through everything. I'm making three piles. I'm going to have a sale, a keep, and a throwaway pile. So I'm kind of starting with our games right now. We have tons of like card games. We have tons of like board games, etc., and some games that are just missing their pieces at this point. So I'm kind of just going through seeing what all stuffed in here, and then I'm going to organize all of the games in Ziploc bags. That way they're easier to get to. Everything that I'm putting into this hamper is actually going to be put into our yard sale, including those terrible clown masks. My kids and my husband think it's hilarious to put on those clown masks and try to scare me because they know that I do not like clowns. So I've thrown them into the hamper to be put in the yard sale. I'm sure my kids will end up pulling those back out and not letting me actually sell them, but it's worth a shot. So I knew that I wanted to bring in more storage to this space just so I could give everything a place and could keep it more organized. So I'm just using a basic like six cube organizer. I think I purchased this one for $40, maybe a little less, but I'm also using dollar store bins to fit inside of it. And I'm hoping that it's going to be the perfect storage solution to this closet. And I did want to go ahead and mention that I, I am apologizing right now for the lighting in this video. Unfortunately, the windows beside our door were giving a lot of like backlight and there was no other way to film this 
other than with the sun behind me. And if you know anything about filming, you know that that creates terrible lighting. But in order for me to show you the closets and show you what was actually happening, that's just the way it's got to be. So the lighting's not great in this video, but the motivation is there. I have a question for you let me know in the comments below if you are like me or not so personally I like to keep my shoes downstairs close to our main door instead of in my master closet I feel like it's just more efficient for me to just take my shoes off at the door and put them away let me know below if you keep yours in your master closet or somewhere closer to like your main entrance of your home This closet turned out so much better than I expected. The six cube organizer was a game changer. I'm going to link one in the description box below. It was the perfect way to organize this small closet and I still have a lot of room to spare. Now we're going to move on to the second closet which houses more of my kids like backpacks, shoes, game bags, cleats, all that kind of stuff. It's kind of just what we call the kid closet and it has definitely gotten out of control. So I'm going to go ahead and start purging this one and try to get it as organized as well. As you can see, the struggle is real when you have six children. The shoes, oh my gosh, y'all, the shoes. We have so many, but yet when we need a pair of shoes, we never can find them. So I'm going through all of these, trying to figure out what shoes will fit which child and figuring out which shoes do not fit any of them, slash which are so destroyed that they just need thrown out at this point. It is a process, but it felt good to purge a lot of those. Now that I've sorted through all of the shoes, I am splitting them into four different bins for my older five. The little two boys share a bin, but I'm just going to put their everyday shoes in these. That way they are easy to get to and we can keep them separated. And I'm just using a hodgepodge of random bins because like I said in my previous purging video, it doesn't always matter if it's pretty just as long as it's organized and there's absolutely no use to me going out and spending money on matching containers for their dirty shoes. Here's the finished product for the kids closet even though it still has quite a bit of items in here it is so much more organized and I purged a ton. So now nap time is almost over and I'm going to go ahead and quickly clean up my mess that I made that way when the kids come down there's not stuff that they can get into. I'm going to finish by vacuuming everything and just giving this space just a quick little freshen up. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was motivating to you and I hope that it motivates you to purge a space in your home. Let me know in the comments below if you are purging along with me. But thank you guys again for watching. I so appreciate the support on my videos. If you are new here, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel and join my YouTube family. Thank you all so much and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, you gotta break on now. To where the sun don't end, the sun don't